What's up people are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And in this video today, I have some excellent news. Remarkable news actually. Checkmate have officially released the iCloud activation lock bypass for all T2 Macs. That's Macs from 2018, 2019, 2020, and that's for MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, Mac Mini. It, co it covers all of those. Um, all the Macs that it covers will be uh, linked in my uh, description below the video. So be sure to check that out. Um, and basically, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a, a permanent premium bypass that Checkmate have officially released. Uh, they released it about a week or so ago. And um, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this um, because with the latest bridge operating system, people have had problems uh, basically doing the bypass but the good news this actually works on the latest bridge operating system bridge os 7 it also works on other bridge operating systems as well um, but yeah the main thing is it works and so basically for those of you who have a t2 locked apple uh, activation locked MacBook and you want access to it well I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so first things first you do need another MacBook to connect the USB-C to USB-C cable to okay now it has to be a data sync cable it can't just be a charging cable and you have to basically put it in the second port down this port here okay so with them both connected what you want to do first thing you do is put the target mac in dfu mode right to do that all you've got to do is basically hold down the power button the shift button the control and option key, all these four at the same time until you can see your device is actually in DFU mode. Okay, so takes around eight seconds, roughly. Oh, look at that. Didn't even take that long. So as you can see, it's recognized that this MacBook is officially in DFU mode. Now, the reason why Apple Configurator is open is because I just recently restored the latest bridge operating system on here. But you don't have to do that. It works on any bridge operating system. And it also works um, for Mac OS Ventura as well as Monterey. So now what you do on the host computer... It's quite simple. Um, head over to Safari and basically download. So go over to Checkmate, over to Checkmate's website and go down until you find there it is mac icloud activation lock so it's got to look like that basically simply select it and as you can see it's working on the latest ventura so you want to go ahead and download the software
great stuff. Once that's done, simply continue with the installation. It'll prompt for your password, but obviously I got my fingerprint uh, because it's um, my personal Mac is a T2 as well. So yeah, move that to the bin. <clears throat> So what you want to do now is simply head over to Launchpad and you should see it there, the Mac OS T2, open it up and as the device is already in DFU mode, what it's doing is basically confirming, is basically now putting it into uh, a jailbreak state so it's at stage two in progress at the moment and as you can see it's in a jailbreak state there it's really good how the bar lights up there and as you can see order mac os icloud bypass <clears throat> what i like about this bar it's not just a light no it's actually a code so it starts from the top and then basically goes all the way down to the bottom and it's all written in code. Very similar to a, a verbose state when jailbreaking a, an iOS device. It's really good, absolutely. Uh, so basically what you wanna do then is go ahead and order your Mac OS iCloud bypass. So it'll obviously bring you to uh, an order form And then on the order form, to get 10% off your sale, put in promo code iCloud Helper 029. To get 10% off your purchase. As you can see, promo codes applied. So it's no longer 99.99, it's now 89.99. Good stuff. So I'm basically, I'm gonna go through the checkout and I'll be right back with you. Okay, people, so as you can see, I've now gone through the payment checkout and once you get to this stage, after making the payment, simply minimize. And now what you wanna do is start the bypass to begin. So simply click, select start. And now the bypass is in process. And as you can see, your device has successfully been bypassed. You know, your Mac OS device has been successfully bypassed, blah, 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 review company, cancel etc so yeah basically at this stage what you want to do is just power on uh your target computer that's basically the one that was icloud locked is the keyword and simply go through if you ever get this problem here yeah, with a folder okay so it's not much it's not an issue at all just Power off your device, right? Because some people, they get this issue, whether it's iCloud related or not. If you if you ever get it, it's, it's, it's an easy fix. Just when you press the power button, hold down the option key. Just press the power button and hold down the option key and it should go straight to the internet recovery. As you can see. Um, so I'm going to connect now to Wi-Fi, go for the internet recovery and be right back with you. Okay, so as you can see, I'm clearly at the end now of the internet recovery. And once this is done, I'll basically show you the next steps. I don't need that computer no more. Right, 
right, here we go. I mean, finally, Checkmate did take their time about this, you know, um, especially like when iOS 15 came out, you know, it took them a while to do the bypass. So they've been more focused on the iOS 15 and then iOS 16 iCloud um, premium bypass, which obviously is priority because, you know, a lot more people use iOS devices than they use macOS devices. But now... They're working on Macs. Uh, yesterday or the day before, they've um, they've got a bypass for the latest uh, EFI firmware lock. So uh, for T2 Macs, so if you've got um, a T2 Mac that has an EFI firmware lock on it, that uh, basically that process they actually remove it. They totally like can fully remove it. This is not a bypass, and it only recently came out. So language, English, UK, I am in the UK, so that makes sense. Mac OS recovery. Look at that, people. Look at that. iCloud activation lock, gone. Gone. Just like that. So... What you want to do now is simply just reinstall Mac OS, continue. Catalina, well, I'll certainly be upgrading this. Select your hard drive and continue with the installation. You're done. The iCloud lock is now gone. It's now gone. You can fully use your device. The developer Checkmate has made this possible so you have full access to your computer. So, you know, you're not going to have any problems uh, signing into your own iCloud account. You're not going to have any problems downloading apps from the App Store or anything like that. You can use it as a fully working MacBook. It's it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, yes, uh, the prices, the prices, I believe, are all the same. Uh, $99.99 um, for all T2 devices and like i said earlier this only works on mac os uh, mac t2 devices so yeah um so however many of you have got icloud lock devices and you've been stuck with them for ages because the thing is i've been stuck with this for a while okay because there was um the T2 chip was basically, it wasn't, it was malfunctioning all the time and it wouldn't let it do the bypass. And like I said, where Apple, where Checkmate was so focused on getting iOS and iPad OS up to date with um, the latest, you know, with iOS 15 and then iOS 16, both on iPhones and iPads, they have now turned their focus to MacBooks which is brilliant, absolutely. Like I said, if you've got an EFI firmware lock on a MacBook, same process. Um, the price might be a little bit different, not too sure, but the prices are all the same for all T2 devices. And like I said, I'll drop a link in, in the description below uh, to show you exactly every device that is basically compatible for this iCloud activation lock bypass. So there we go, people. You no longer have an activation locked T2 MacBook. It's, it's, it's simple, it's straightforward. Obviously, granted, 
if you don't have access to another MacBook, maybe you could ask someone to borrow theirs or, uh, you know, also it doesn't have to be another T2 MacBook. It could be like, say for example, this here, obviously because it's T2, this has to go in the, the second port down, like I said at the beginning of the video. But it could be a different cable where it's USB-C on this side and USB-A on the other side for the old Macs. And will it work? Yes, it will. Absolutely it will. And you're good to go. You basically, yeah, put in promo code iCloud Helper 029, all one word, and you are literally good to go. Really hope you people have enjoyed this video today. Uh, I've got plenty of content on you regarding iCloud, MDM, uh, and activation issues as such, Apple Watches as well, anything like that, anything Apple related. Smash that like. Be sure to subscribe. There's plenty of content on you, and there's much more content to come. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.